The White House is celebrating the Senate Budget Committee's passage of the Republican tax plan, and now the pressure is mounting for Arizona senators to take a stand before a full Senate vote. Cronkite News reporter Fraser Allen Best is tracking the latest in our Washington bureau. The pressure came from both sides on Capitol Hill today. While President Trump was meeting with Republican senators to push for the tax bill, a group of Arizona residents came to lobby against it. Cindy Winston teaches science at a public high school in Tucson, but it was economics that brought her here to Washington today to urge Arizonan senators to oppose the GOP tax plan. Winston worries that the plan would hurt teachers who already suffer from low pay. Folks are living at a, teachers are living at a poverty level. She joined a group of Arizona residents on Capitol Hill to lobby against the proposed tax plan the same day that President Trump visited the Capitol to lobby Republican senators to back the plan. The bill will require the support of every Republican senator to pass, making Senators McCain and Flake a focus for those who stand against reform. Alma Hernandez, a student at the University of Arizona, is optimistic that her senators will take a stand. If they thought this was a great plan, they would have already been out here advocating for it and saying, we're going to vote for it, we're in full support of what the president is saying, and they have not done it. Why? Because they also believe it's not the greatest plan ever. Senator McCain was not available for comment at his office where a staffer said that he was at the luncheon meeting with the president. In a written statement two weeks ago, John McCain said that he is hopeful that, quote, we will see this process continue and both sides of the aisle having sufficient opportunity to debate the merits of tax reform. Flake was not available for comment, but said earlier this month that real tax reform is needed and not just, quote, cut, cut, cut. As a struggling student, Hernandez wants the Arizona senators to oppose the plan that she feels will discourage students and damage the work force of tomorrow. We can't have people going into these professions and expecting them to be in a huge amount of debt because of these tax cuts to the rich. Now the host has already passed its version of the tax plan, but Senate debate could start Thursday on the bill that would cut $1.5 trillion in taxes over the next 10 years and add significantly to the deficit at the same time, critics say. Live in Washington, Fraser Allen Best. Cronkite News.